Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look about construction of triangles. So, let's get started. First of all, let us see how to construct a straight line using the straight edge and the pair of compass. Now, look here. Take a straight edge and draw a line like this. Now, take the length of the straight line you need to measure. Now, in this case, I'm going to take 3 centimeters. Keep the compass on the straight line and draw an arc like this. And then what you have to do is take your compass to the arc you drew and draw another arc from this arc to cut the straight line like this. Now, this length is equal to 3 centimeters. I name these two points as A and B. So, AB is my straight line which is equal to 3 centimeters. Fine. Now, let's go to the next section. Here we are going to see how to construct an equilateral triangle. I hope you remember what an equilateral triangle is. That is a triangle with all sides equal. So, now I am going to construct a triangle with length 6 centimeters. Now, already I have drawn a line PQ and this length is equal to 6 centimeters. Now, what I am going to do is to take my compass and keep it on one of these two points. First, I keep it on Q and draw an arc like that. Then, with the same length, I come to point P and cut the previous arc. Now, the length here is the 6 centimeters I took at the beginning. Right, now I join these two points to the point of intersection of the two arcs and name that point as R. Now here, PR is equal to 6 centimeters and RQ is also equal to 6 centimeters and these three sides are equal in length to make PQR an equilateral triangle. Fine, now let's move on to another section. That is construction of a regular hexagon. Now, look here. To construct a regular hexagon, first of all, what you have to do is to draw a circle like this. And without changing the radius or the length in your compass, keep it on any point on the circle and draw an arc like this. Now, take your compass to the arc you drew and continuing drawing another arc. And you draw six arcs like this until you reach the point where you started. So, once when you reach the point where you started drawing, you will see that you have divided the circle into six equal arcs. Now, what I do is I am going to name these six arcs as A, B, C, D, E and F like this. And then what I have to do is a very simple thing that is I have to join the points a, B, C, D, E and F in alphabetical order like this. First I join A, B and B, C then around it like this to complete the regular hexagon. Now here the length of each side of the hexagon will be equal to the radius of the circle. And now we are going to see how to find whether three lengths suit to be the sides of a triangle? Suppose three lengths are given to you and they ask you whether these three sides or these three lengths can be the three sides of a triangle. So, how to verify whether it is possible or not? So, that part we are going to th see through this section. Uh, the thing is, if the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side, then the three sides will be the sides of the triangle. Now, look at this example. Can 3, 4, 5 units be sides of a triangle? So, what we have to do is we have to add 2 by 2. There are 3 digits or 3 lengths. We add 2 by 2 though. So, we get 6 pairs and we have to check whether these pairs are greater than the third side. Now, for an example, first of all, I take 3 and 4. Now, you know 3 plus 4 is 7 and here the third side is 5. So, 7 is greater than 5. So, this is satisfying the condition. We will take another two pair. 5 and 4 is equal to 9. The sum is 9 and it is greater than 
3 in this case. So, if it is greater than 3, again the condition is satisfied. And then we are going to take the last pair, 3 and 5. So, then 3 plus 5 is 8. We know it is greater than 4. So, whatever the two numbers or two lengths you add, it is greater than the third number you left. Therefore, these three sides can be a side, the sides of a triangle. So, this is how you verify when three lengths are given whether they can be taken as the three sides of the triangle. Fine. Now, in our next part, we are going to see how to construct isosceles triangles. You know, an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two sides equal, right? Two sides will be equal and the third side will be different. Now, let us see how to construct a triangle with two sides equal. Now, in my triangle, I'm going to construct PQR triangle where PQ is 8 centimeters and the remaining two sides will be 5 centimeters each. So, let's see how to do that. First of all, you draw a line which is of length 8 centimeters and mark it as PQ. At the beginning, I taught you how to draw a straight line segment. So, just following that method, you have to draw this and now take 5 centimeters from your compass Keep it at Q and draw an arc like this. And then move your compass without changing the length to the point P and cut the previous arc like this. Fine. Now you have spotted the point R. So we know P and Q and this point of intersection of the two arcs you can name as R. And now what you have to do is to join PR and QR. And then I'm going to write down the lengths of the two sides as 5 centimeters each. Fine. So, and at the same time, you can mark these two sides are equal by lines like this. Fine. Now, this is how you draw an isosceles triangle using the compass and the straight edge. Move on to the next section, that is construction of a scale and triangle. And the scale and triangle has three different lengths in its three sides. None of the sides are equal to one another. So let us see how to construct a scale and triangle. Now I'm going to construct a scale and triangle ABC with lengths 10, 13, and 4 centimeters. So first of all, you have to draw a line AB with the length. 10 centimeters and then let us see what to do take the next length you need suppose bc is 4 centimeters take 4 centimeters from your compass keep it on b and draw an arc like that and then take 13 centimeters from your compass bring the compass to a and draw an arc like that now this point of intersection of the two arcs is the point C and I name it as C like that and now what should I do I have to join AC and BC like this and then I'm going to write down the lengths as 13 centimeters and 4 centimeters and this is how you construct a scale and triangle so hope you understood how to construct triangles, hexagon and also at the beginning we learned how to construct a straight line. So see you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.